Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and back by popular demand. This is part three of my motorcycle life hacks. So for number one, we're gonna use an old odor hack called the dryer sheet because 20,000 kilometers down the road, my gear stinks. I put one into each boot. I put another one underneath the liner of my helmet. Uh, if I had some more time or I can just chuck it in there if I'm lazy. And then I open up a couple pockets of the jacket and I put a few more in there and that's it. Now I smell like a spring meadow coming down the road. I could get my gloves to smell like a pine forest. I could get my leathers to smell like an Arctic breeze and whatever floats your boat, that's great value. Now let's say that it starts raining and we'll pretend that my side cases here aren't waterproof. I've got my MacBook in here. It's inside a suede cover. I really don't want to get it wet. What do I do? Two options, both of which involve hacking my side case with this garbage bag. If I don't mind looking like a bit of a putz, I can tie the entire garbage bag around my piece of luggage. Alternately, I could put the contents of my luggage inside a garbage bag and then put it back inside. Either way, I now have a waterproof luggage solution. Now, I like to ride off-road, but for some unimaginable reason, the engineers at Suzuki didn't give me adjustable ABS on my V-Strom. So when I go down a sandy hill, the back tire refuses to lock up, and I either look very fast or very stupid depending on whether or not I crash. So we're gonna hack the fuse box of my V-Strom. Now one look at the diagram tells me which fuse supplies electricity to the ABS valve. So I pull off the cover and I yank that one out as I've already done here. And then I can slide around to my heart's content. Of course, I should tell you that tampering with the ABS is dangerous and it's not advisable. It should never be done on public roads. It voids the insurance and it's super fun and blah, 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 blah. Oh, by the way, you can also wire up a switch to this little fuse and then run a line up to a toggle on your dashboard so that you can flick the ABS on and off with the push of a button. I'm too lazy to bother with the electronics, so I keep yanking this little guy out, but yeah, I mean, it would be a lot more convenient than having to dig around in my fuse box every time I go off road. Now, my fourth motorcycle life hack helps you see on bright sunny days. If you use a helmet with no sun peak, like most of us do, then you know how much glare comes through here. I mean, even when the sun is high in the sky, you get a lot of light coming down into your eyes like this. So grab a roll of black electrical tape and then make yourself a sun visor across the top of your face shield. Um, I normally find that about an inch in width um, is about all I need. So I would start with one sheet of tape and then uh, see how you like it. You could always add more um, sort of lines there if you want it to be a bit thicker. The idea here is really simple. Um, as you ride, you can angle your head so that the sun is always going to be behind this black strip. And because of that, that eliminates a lot of glare. And finally, the fifth life hack comes straight from my hot weather gear video, ice cubes. When you know you're going on a hot ride, stick a few ice cubes into your pockets. Obviously, they're going to keep you cool, but even as they melt, the water's going to evaporate and that's going to endothermically draw heat away from your body. It really works for beating the heat, and as long as your destination is more than like an hour away, you should be dry by the time you arrive. And that's it for the third installment of Motorcycle Life Hacks. Thank you guys very much for watching.